Welcome back everybody for a, another uh, session, yoga, tea, and the British aristocracy. Today we are again here at Matt Britton. So Matt Britton is in Dorset, Southwest England. If you're new, um, welcome. It, Matt Britton House is uh, considered the nation's finest manor house, and we hold that award uh, very high to our hearts. Um, right behind me, you can see a family crest. So this room here is again uh, part of the Tudor part of the house. So around uh, mid 1500s, the crest is just as old as that. So we are going to today, oh, by the way, if you're wondering what tea I'm drinking today, today I decided for English breakfast. It's cold, I've got the heat on here, and I just decided a little bit a wake me up with English breakfast. It does have some caffeine in it, and which means that our flow today is about a 20 minute flow fast. Just, I'm gonna throw it all out, out at ya, and you can do this flow first thing in the morning. You can do this flow when you need some more energy. You can do this flow um, in the evening if you're going out um, afterwards, uh, but it's gonna be a 20 minute flow. Just have fun with it. Take as many breaks as you want to, but it will go super fast. Number one, it's 20 minutes, but also we will be flowing quite fast. So with that said, I'm gonna put my cup of tea down and let's get ready to flow. So to begin with, we're gonna start right away on the top, uh, at the top of our mat. So coming to the top of the mat, big toes to touch, little gap between the ankles. Give your shoulder blades a good roll up, back and down several times here. So up, back and down, starting to stretch the heart open. Take a moment, stretching the heart open. Let the arms and the hands lengthen alongside the body. Close your eyes, setting that intention. So maybe your intention today, because it is an energizing 20 minute flow, is around energy. If you need to bring more energy in, if that's why you're flowing with me on the mat today, maybe that creates and shapes your intention. But remember with anything and everything that we set for our intention, inject the breath in your intention so that intention has fuel to grow. Blink your eyes open. Have a wonderful practice. Take an inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Big inhale, lift and lengthen four sides of the waist. Exhalation brings it down, forward fold. Breathe in to lift up halfway, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, plant those hands, your choice. Step it back if you're ready, float it back. Knees can lower as you lower halfway down into chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog with thighs up off the mat and exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. Let's first just do three breaths here. So breathe in and breathe it out for one. Inhale for two, maybe close your eyes here and breathe it out for two. And a final full breath into the body for three. And we exhale all the way out for three. From your downward facing dog, inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, right knee taps your right upper arm, shoulders over those wrists. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee goes across the body to the left elbow, twist through the torso. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back to that three-legged dog. And as you exhale, softly step the right foot to the space between the hands. One inhale takes you up to that high lunge. So one inhale, high lunge. One long exhale opens you up to that warrior two. One inhalation to straighten through the right leg and one exhalation to take you into that trikonasana triangle. One inhalation brings you back up to center. One exhale, re-bend that right knee, warrior two. Flip the right palm, take an inhale to reverse the warrior, listen closely. Exhale, takes it back, warrior two. Inhale, pivot onto the left ball of the foot, reach the arms up into that high lunge. Exhale, twist it over to the right. Inhale again, takes you back up, high lunge. And exhale, hands down to the mat, right foot steps back, lower through your vinyasa. Inhalation, upward facing dog, shoulders down the back. And exhalation back, downward facing dog. One breath here, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Left hand side now, inhale, reach the left leg high. 
As you exhale, left knee taps your left upper arm, shoulders over those wrists. Inhale brings the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee across the body, right elbow, twist through the torso. Inhale, reaches the left leg up and back to that three-legged dog. And as you exhale, softly step the left foot to the space between the hands. One inhale takes you up high lunge. Think of it as like one movement, one breath. One exhale opens you up, warrior two. One inhalation to straighten through the left leg. One long exhalation to take you into that trikonasana. Inhale brings you back up to center. Exhale, we re-bend to that warrior two. Now inhale, pivot onto the right ball of the foot, reach the arms up, center the body, high lunge. And exhale, take a twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, rise back up to that high lunge, squeeze your left glute in. Exhale, hands down to the mat, left foot steps back to the right foot. And again, lowering through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. One breath here, breathe in. And we breathe it out, adding on. We're gonna inhale, reach the right leg high. And again, exhale, right knee to your right upper arm. Now inhale, slide the right knee down to the back of the right wrist. Exhale, slide the right knee back up that right upper arm. And inhale to reach the right leg up and back to that three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee goes across the body to the left elbow. Extend the right leg out to the side. Fall in triangle. Reach the left arm up. Lift through the hips. One breath here. Make it count. Breathe in. And breathe it out. Float the left hand down to the mat. Inhale, right leg again. Reaches up and back to that three-legged dog. Exhale, softly step the right foot to the space between the hands. Stay nice and low. Inhale, pivot and turn to the left. Skandasana. Left upper arm to the inside of your left leg, right leg lengthening, breathe in. And as you exhale, pivot and turn to the back of the mat, left foot facing the back of the mat, you're in that low lunge. Inhale, reach the left arm up, left arm reaches up, happily stay here. Or on the exhale, move onto the blade of the right foot, left leg on top, side plank. Lift those hips, maybe lift your left leg. If you want to do this with me, it's quite fun. We're going to inhale, lift the left leg for one on the count of four, two, three, four, and exhale, lower it down, four, three, two, one. One more time, inhale, lift it, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Now inhale, extend the left arm across your left ear, and exhale, left hand down to the mat, lowering through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, takes you back. Downward facing dog, right away. Inhale, reach the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, softly step the right foot, again to the space between the hands. Inhale, rise on up to that high lunge. We're gonna exhale, lower the upper body, quarter of the way down over that right thigh. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. Shift the weight more into that right leg and inhale, floats the left leg up. Warrior three, we're here for a breath. Breathe in and breathe it out. How softly can you float your fingertips down to the mat? Full standing split, walk your fingertips closer to your right toes and reach that left leg high. It's really reaching that left leg high, reach it high, doesn't matter how high it goes goes just extend the left foot away, crown of the head down, one more breath, inhale, stay here, exhale, inhale, how softly can you land? The left ball of the foot back, exhale, pivot and turn to the left, skandasana. Left upper arm to the inside of that left leg, right leg opening up, take another breath in here, and exhale, pivot and turn, Back to the front of the mat, left foot facing forward. Bring the right knee down, shift the hips back into your Ardha Hanumanasana, your half split. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, draw your arm bones back as the crown of the head extends forward. If you want to start to work on your full split, left foot forward, right foot back. But again, you're still drawing the left hip back, right hip forward. Breathe in, shoulder blades down the back, and breathe it out. 
Float the hands down to the mat, curl your back toes under. Try to keep your left leg straight as you inhale, reach the left leg up. Bend your left knee, open your left hip over your right hip, looking underneath your right shoulder. Happily stay here or bring the left ball of the foot around, spinning the hips up, opening through the chest for that wild thing, left arm extending away. One more breath here, breathe in and breathe it out. We're gonna inhale, bring the left hand back around and reach the left leg up and back to that three-legged dog. Keep the left leg lifted and strong. Inhale, move the body forward into that high plank, three-legged high plank that is. Exhale, lower to that three-legged low plank. Left foot comes down, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. Before we do the exact same thing on the left side, let's walk those hands closer together and lower the forearms down. So lowering the forearms down at the same time if you can, elbows underneath your shoulders. Walk the feet up for your dolphin. Happily stay in dolphin. If you wanna lift a leg, it's your right leg. And then remember, those of you who wanna float up into pinch up, you're floating it up. Rather than a kick up, you're floating it up. Just one more breath here. Floating it up, breathe in, practice it. And we breathe it out. Slowly release, left foot down, right foot down. Take a child's pose. I told you it was gonna be a fast, energizing flow. Full breath in your child's pose to get you ready for the left-hand side. And a full breath out. Good, one more time, full breath in. Breathe the whole breath in. And slowly just exhale, let that breath out. On your next inhale, again, we're gonna travel the body forward into that tabletop. And as we exhale, we lift those hips up and back into that magnificent, amazing, downward facing dog. Just take a breath in your down dog, breathe in. Now the exact same thing on the left hand side that we just did on the right. So inhale, reach the left leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to your left upper arm. As you inhale, push the floor away, but slide the left knee down to the back of the left wrist. And now exhale, slide the left knee back up that left upper arm. Inhale to reach the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee goes across the body to the right elbow, fall in triangle, extend the left leg out, lift the hips, bring the right arm up. We're here for a breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Inhale, right hand down to the mat, reaching that left leg up and back again to that three-legged dog. Exhale, softly step the left foot to the space between the hands, and now pivot and turn to the right, Skandasana. Right knee bends, right upper arm to the inside of your right leg. Left leg lengthens with the left foot flexed. Take an inhale here, Skandasana. As you exhale, pivot and turn to the back of the mat. So pivoting and turning to the back of the mat, stepping that right foot back to your left foot, lowering through your vinyasa. Inhale as that upward facing dog and exhale takes you back downward facing dog. Go ahead, step the right foot to the space between the hands. Inhale, reach the right arm up, right arm reaches up. Happily stay here or move on to the blade of the left foot and bring your right leg on top of your left. So into that side plank here, remember we're lifting this top leg for four counts. So on the inhale, we start to lift the right leg for one, two, three, four, and we exhale four, three, two, one. Super straight leg. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale the right arm across your right ear, and exhale, right hand down to the mat, lowering through your vinyasa, Inhale as that upward facing dog. And exhale, takes you back into that downward facing dog. One breath here, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Inhale, reach the left leg high, left leg reaches high. Exhale, softly step the left foot to the space between the hands. Inhale, takes you up to that high lunge. 
From here, as we exhale, we lower the upper body a quarter of the way down. Draw your left hip back, your right hip forward. Strong through that back right leg. Start to float up into that warrior three. Floating up into that warrior three, we're here for a breath. Lift that right leg higher, breathe in. And breathe it out. Now how slowly and softly can you float your fingertips down to the mat for your full standing split? This right leg is strong. We're squeezing both glutes into the midline of the body, walking the fingertips closer to the left toes and extending that right leg up. So really extension through that right leg. Squeeze both glutes in. One more breath here. One more breath. You've got this. Stay here. Lift a little bit higher. Exhale. And now inhale. Softly land the right ball of the foot back. Exhale. Pivot and turn to the right, skandasana this side. So left leg lengthens, right upper arm to the inside of your right leg, maybe so slowly starting to bring that left sitting bone down. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, pivot and turn back to the top of the mat, turning your right toes to face the top of the mat, lowering your left knee down. Shift the hips back, lengthening through the right leg, Coming into your half split, you want to inhale, draw your arm bones back. But as you exhale, extend the crown of the head forward. Remember, you have that option to slide the right foot, back, right foot forward and the left foot back. Again, drawing your right hip back and your left hip forward for your full split. One more breath here. Breathe in. And we breathe it out. Plant the hands down. Lift that upper body up. Inhale, sweep the right leg up and back to that three-legged dog again. Looking underneath your left shoulder as you bend your right knee and opening the right hip over the left hip. Happily stay here or bringing the right ball of the foot around. Lengthening through the left leg, spinning the hips up, opening the chest and extending the right arm into your wild thing. One breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. So we're gonna inhale, reach the right hand back around to the mat, right leg reaches up and back, three-legged dog, but keep your right leg lifted and strong. Inhale, travel the body forward into that three-legged high plank. Exhale, lower to that three-legged low plank. Top of the right foot comes down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, takes you back. Downward facing dog. Again, second and final dolphin. Walk your hands closer together. As you lower the forearms down, see if you can spin the inner elbows up. So we're turning the inner elbows up, wrapping the serratus around, walking the feet up, walking the feet up. And then again, if you want to lift a leg, it's your left leg. If you want to float up, you've got to imagine that this left leg is literally lifting you up. So lifting you up the whole time, strong through those shoulders. One more breath. So one more breath here, breathe in and we breathe it out. When you're ready, slowly, slowly release. Feet down to the mat. Take that child's pose. Hips to the heels. Anchor through your forehead. Breathe in. And breathe it out. Amazing, you guys. Amazing practice. Breathe in for two. And out for two. On your next inhale, travel the body forward into that tabletop. As you exhale, slide your hands back to your knees up your thighs and around your back. So again, heels of the hands or two fists, draw your elbows in. As you inhale, coming into camel, lift the chest up. Exhale, either keep your hands where they are, helping to slide the tailbone down or reaching back towards your heels. Two more breaths. So inhale, chest lifts. And exhale, tailbone draws down. If it only if it feels good, you drop your head back, breathe in for three, and breathe out for three. Lead with the chest here. So to lift back up, lead with the chest, lead with the chest, lead with the chest. Slowly bring the hips back down towards the heels, coming into that Vajrasana. So maybe closing your eyes here in Vajrasana, breathe in. The shoulder blades drop down the back, and we exhale. We're going to shift the hips to just one side of the heels. So shifting the hips to one side of the heels, starting to go right away into Navasana. 
Bring the belly and the thighs closer together. Drop the shoulder blades down the back. Squeeze the knees in. Maybe release your arms parallel. Maybe you lift through the legs for 10. Lifting up, maybe even your gaze goes up. Eight, seven, shoulder blades down the back. Six, five, four, lifting up for three, for two, and one. And then slowly releasing, coming all the way down onto your back, bending your knees, either taking a bridge or a wheel. I'm gonna go into wheel, it's just a three breath hold. Short practice, shorter holds, but bridge, setting yourself up for bridge or bringing your hands to either side of your ears. I like to spin my fingers out a little bit. That helps to bring my elbows in a little bit. Make sure you exhale first, so exhale everything out of the body. And as you inhale, we lift through the hips and then eventually lifting up into that wheel, maybe walking your hands back towards your feet. Chest is pressing through your body. So chest is pressing through your body. One more breath here. Full breath in, breathe in, and we breathe it out. Good, and then very, very slowly release, chin to the chest, hug the elbows in, slowly lowering all the way down. Hug the knees in, wrap your arms around those legs, little wrap from side to side. Going into an inversion of your choice, so you can take your legs up an imaginary wall, you can take your shoulder stand, those of you who want to take it into headstand, by all means, take it into headstand. But we're coming into that and final, final inversion. And again, we're just going to be here for three breaths. So plenty of time to come into it. But we're going to come into that pose. And we're going to stay here for three breaths. So full breath in for one. And a full breath out for one. Full breath in for two, and a full breath out for two. Last breath in here for three, and we exhale all the way out for three. If you're in shoulder stand, go ahead, bring your feet back over towards the crown of the head, back into your halasana. If you're in headstand, make your way out very, very slowly. So make your way out nice and slowly, and coming down into that child's pose. Those of you in Halasana, lower your legs all the way down once your heels touch. We'll take it into just a simple supine twist today. So simple supine twist, hug the right knee into the chest, keep the left leg long, take the right knee over to the left and allow that right arm to extend out. One full breath here in this twist, full breath in, breathe in and soften and breathe it out. Right knee hugs back into the body, lengthening the right leg long. Left knee hugs into the body, left leg over to the right as the left arm extends out or you can cactus it. And again, it's just one breath here. So find your twist, then breathe into your twist, full breath in and enjoy that full breath out. Inhale the left knee back into the body. Exhale, extend the left leg long. Coming into your final, final resting pose. So final resting pose, Shavasana. Do anything else you feel your body needs to get you there. I'm going to leave you so you can enjoy your Shavasana. Make sure you cover yourself up, maybe cover your eyes, cover your body, cover your feet, get a blanket. Enjoy your Shavasana. This is a very, very energizing practice. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, do comment down below. Let me know how you found this energizing practice. And also let me know what your tea of choice was today. Bye, everybody.